Smartphones are about to get strong, and I mean really strong. Hey guys, so Qualcomm Chips, the heart that runs many beasts out there, is about to go to a whole new level. This was the year of 100x zooms, and next year could be the year of 100 watt fast charging. According to the recent news coming from Digital Chat Station, the Snapdragon 875 chip will be sporting fast charging standards of up to 100 watts. That is the absolute craziest level of charging. This means that your next phone could get charged from 0 to 100% in just 20 minutes. Absolute madness. The Snapdragon 875 chip will go inside of a lot of Android phones such as the OnePlus 9, Xiaomi Mi 11, Oppo Find X3, but undoubtedly a lot of Samsung phones will be among the first to get the scoop, starting with the Galaxy S21 models and then Note 21 with Snapdragon 875 Plus. Now interestingly, not long ago, Samsung announced its power controller chip that sports 100 watts of fast charging safely. Of course, it was a different time for the hardware, but now it seems like the chip is supporting this new fast charging standard, which means that a lot of brands could bring 100 watts of fast charging to their flagship phones. Companies like Xiaomi already working on it. I'm sure Oppo will do something crazy as well. They have currently the fastest fast charging standard of 65 watts, uh, which is one of my favorite favorite feature on the Find X2 Pro. Brands like Vivo are even working on crazy wireless charging speed standards, so I'm sure one of these brands will be bringing this to reality. Now with great power comes great price. Snapdragon 875, this chip alone costs $130. That is a pretty noticeable jump from the $80 cost of the last year's Snapdragon 865 chip. One of the reasons why we had the price jump with the Snapdragon 875 is because, first of all, it is built on an entirely new architecture, 5 nanometer. It will have the special Cortex-X1 core in addition to three Cortex-A77 cores coming at more than 3 GHz plus speeds and a whopping 100 watts fast charge sport. All of this is great but it's gonna cost more which makes me think that next year phones like OnePlus 9, Galaxy S21, Oppo Find X3, they all could be expensive so it's gonna be a challenge for manufacturers to keep the cost low. I'm sure it's doable. All in all, features wise, the Snapdragon 875 is looking crazy good. As for the international market, Samsung will be bringing the world's first AMD powered GPU mobile chip, the Exynos 1000. Honestly, the stakes are really high. I can't wait. Wait. Now let's talk about the present. The Snapdragon 865 Plus will get announced pretty soon and seems like almost entire big chunk of it is going to Samsung. According to iCineverse, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 devices, the Tab S7, Galaxy Fold 2, and even the Z Flip 5G, all these devices are rocking Snapdragon 865 Plus chip. It's a overclock version of the 865, so you'll see a little bit of improvements. And uh, I am sitting right here thinking to myself, what does it do for me? I am an excellent peasant. For all we know, Samsung has the Exynos 992 chip planned for international markets, but I'm still concerned. I really hope that the performance this time matches the performance of the 865 Plus chip. We will absolutely not tolerate this difference. Samsung has to bring the equality with both markets. Now, iCineverse also tweeted out that Samsung has completely fixed the autofocus issues with the Galaxy Note 20 Plus slash Note 20 Ultra, the issues that we have seen on the S20 Ultra for months. It has been a big topic of debate but Samsung realized their mistakes and uh, seems like with the Galaxy Note 20 Plus everything will be on point. So that is all the news we have. The Snapdragon 875 chip is gonna be really really powerful. I hope Samsung has everything of its own up to the level and I really hope everything is on the level right now with the Exynos 992. Drop your comments and as always I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.